Hello everybody and welcome to Lauren Loves Color. This is Lauren. This is my haul for the month of July, so stay tuned to see what I have. All right, so we're going to start off with supplies. This was an amazing and lovely gift that I got from the wonderful Sheena from Sheena in Colorland. I will link her channel down below. We met up in Orlando, Florida when I was there for a conference and for a mini vacation. I was so kindly gifted these markers upon my return back to my hometown. Um, I was in shock and awe that she sent these to me. Um, I had seen these featured on Jamie's channel and um, these are cool. Cool. I had no idea these existed. This is the Ohuhu 48 set of kind of the skinnier alcohol marker. Um, similar to what you would think of with like a Tau Tree marker. It has a fine nib on one end and then it has a broader nib, broader chisel nib on the other. I will definitely tell you with these that the fine nib on um, these markers is different than that of the Tau Tree. Um, let me show you... The Tau Tree nib is actually smaller. Um, you can even see, you know, the barrel is a little bit different. The Ohuhu, um, this Ohuhu said um, it's, a it's a triangular barrel. Um, but if I were to take off the caps of the two markers here, don't know how well you can see that. You should be able to see that. The um, pink is the Ohuhu, the purple is the Tau Tree, and definitely the nib for the Ohuhu is broader. So um, I was wondering if they would be somewhat the same. They are a little bit different. Um, what I will tell you is I do really like the ar the arrangement of colors um, that they have that actually come in this set of 48. I've been using these markers practically nonstop since I got them. Um, and these are all of the swatches. It's actually got a very lovely variety of colors in here. There's not too much or too little of anything. Um, I will say I think the one thing that might be missing is a lighter purple. All of these purples look somewhat similar especially those two colors there, um, and maybe another orange. Um, there's this orange, um, <clears throat> and there's this one. I mean, I guess those are kind of okay. Like, there really isn't too many bad um, colors or anything in here. There's a nice variety of pinks and greens and blues, uh, maybe some blues that didn't look so similar. Um, like some of the colors just look really similar in shade. Like these three blues here actually look all very, very close to each other. So, um, but overall I'm really satisfied with this set. It's nice and compact. I really like that it comes in this box as well. It comes in the clear container that actually secures and snaps like that. Um, so I have really been enjoying these and I have been utilizing them a ton in um, my coloring pages for this month. So um, thank you so much to Shana for sending those to me. That was a really, really lovely gift. Let me move my towel trees to the side. The only other supply that I got, and this was actually something I purchased last month but just didn't um, haul in a video, are the Sharpie Mystic Gems. Um, these are the more pastel color of Sharpies and while I don't color in Sharpies a lot because of just the smell, it does irritate me over time. I did really like this variety of colors. Pastels are something I've been coloring in a lot. Um, you should have seen by now my video on shading with crayons and so pastel colors have become really important for me and so um, I'm kind of excited to I kind of want to just put these in a bag and just use this color palette on a page um, I think that would look really really nice so um, yeah so these are the mystic Sh uh, mystic gem sharpies all right, let's go on to the books. So I have some books to haul for you here. This is from, this is my very first Lulu Mayo book. This is the world's cutest animal coloring book. Um, this is not a new book. Um, I believe this one was published a few years back. Let's see here, 2016. So yes, quite a few years back. Um, this has got like a nice kind of cardstock paper. And honestly, the reason that I got this book was because I've really been wanting to do some watercolor. And I saw, um, 
Um, I saw someone recently on color tube watercoloring in this book. And what's nice is they actually have an example of how you can do it. And I mean, you don't have to pick this color palette by any means, but it kind of gives you some, you know, direction. It was actually this page that she was doing and it was really pretty. And um, I was like, you know, I think I would really enjoy trying that. And the only other, um, the problem is, is that the vast majority of the books that I have in my collection are um, traditional Amazon paper or cheaper paper. They're not like they don't have you know a thickness to them and this book does um and so I thought this might be kind of the perfect avenue to kind of jump off of to try some watercolor um and some really cute um pictures um also there's a lot of like Lulu Mayo tags and stuff that go around and um I didn't own any of her books and I really liked the images in here so I think that this might be a really really good book um, to just kind of get some watercolor out again. Um, I really enjoy watercolor. Um, it's actually one of my favorite mediums to work with. I have a kind of like just add water book that I really, really enjoy doing and did for a really long time. And I'm just kind of wanting to get back into trying some water mediums and trying something a little bit different. So I thought this would be a really good book to try. So this is... The World's Cutest Animal Coloring Book by Lulu Mayo. Next, this is a book I just received in the mail the other day. This is Tattoo Black Background. This is the, um, is this the newest release by Color Questopia? I can't keep up. <laughs> they release books so quickly. I believe this is the newest book released by Color Questopia. Um, this one is really cool because it's actually, I mean, yeah, I guess they can all be tattoos, but really it's just a wide variety of different types of images. I really like this um, B image here. Um, and so it's a pretty cool looking book. I haven't spent too much time in it yet, so I'm excited because I will be um, coloring a page out of here, filming a flip and review, doing the whole jazz. So be on the lookout for that. You will definitely get um, that for me from this book, Tattoo Black Background by Color Questopia. Next, this was the kind of second part of my gift from um, Shana were a couple of coloring books. And so um, one of the books that she got me was Coco Wayo Cute Stuff Coloring Book. This is my first book by Coco Wayo. Um, and so it is just like, like it, like the title says, believe it or not, it is just full of super cute little images. Um, you guys know I'm a sucker for coloring food and cutesy stuff like this. This kind of brought me back to my days when I was younger. Um, it's just kind of cute. It's got a lot of these like little potions and stuff and kind of like, you know, Game Boy things. And actually, you know what? The um, Mystic Gym Sharpies would probably look pretty cool in this book. This is cool. Just kind of like the mushrooms in the glass um, jar, some little space bunnies. Um, this is kind of like almost a see-through um, popsicle. I don't know. It's just, it's like a bunch of really random stuff, but it's really cute. Um, space theme. So it's like, if you're feeling like doing something a little bit different, this one is definitely one to be on the lookout for. I think it's really cute. And it's full of cute stuff. I believe this is, this has duplicate images in here. Um, it doesn't say, but I'm pretty sure there are, du oh yeah, there are duplicates, I believe. And then, um, I, I really wanted this book as well, primarily for this picture because it's Tamagotchis. I mean, if you were, if you were a nineties kid, like how could you not remember like Tamagotchis and stuff like that? Like that's just, that was the jam back then. So yeah, I think this is a really cute book. Maybe there aren't duplicates. I'm not seeing any other duplicates. There may not be duplicates in this book. Oh, see, look at the cute unicorn page. It's just a lot of really like kind of cutesy random drawings. This reminds me, um, is there like a pastel goth book or something going around? Like, you know, um, that one's almost a little bit of a more gothic type image. So um, yeah, this one's a little bit outside of just my norm for coloring, but I thought it was really cute. I don't own a Coco Wayo book either. And so this is actually my very first one. Yeah, I don't think there are duplicates in here. Yeah, wow, that's a lot. I think there's got to be at least 30 images in here. I did not count, but yeah, that is um, Coco Wayo Cute Stuff Coloring Book. 
The second book that Trina got for me, this is Geometrical Joy's um, Cross Stitch Style Adult Coloring Book. I own this one, the Adorable Nature um, one, so this is the second one. So I already knew I really, really enjoyed these books. These are um, that cross stitch style coloring book um so it's made to look like cross stitch um it's like color by symbols so there's symbols inside of each of the um i'll try to zoom in and kind of show you are you gonna be able to see that i don't know if you're gonna be able to see that there are symbols inside i promise you inside of each of these little x's and so those correspond with the um with the colors on the left hand side of the page what's really nice about these books is that um, it features a uh, a preview of what the image looks like um, and has just the colors that you need for the image uh, listed on the left hand side so that makes it really nice and um, this one is all patterns um, the other one that i have is like nature and um, i also like that it's on like the premium you know, the premium paper and stuff that feels so good. Um, the one downfall to these books in general is that you really need to work from the back forward if you're using alcohol markers because or else it will bleed through the page and kind of cover up your um, your kind of symbol key and the, um, um, the little image preview. And I use that a lot when I'm coloring. I did color a page out of here and I, I want to redo. <laughs> um, I made so many mistakes in this image. Oh my gosh. Um, it was a lot of fun. I had fun coloring in it, but I made a lot of mistakes. I missed some, um, orange squares down here. I accidentally colored too many teal squares over here. And then I was like trying to just be lazy and I was just taking my new markers and playing with them and was like, well, if I know this whole line is orange, I'm just going to go up and down with orange well that ended up smearing the black and then kind of created some black there so this is not my best work <laughs> um you know on this page so I'm like I really need to do and then I didn't color match very well I was trying to use the 48 set of um alcohol markers that I got from Shana for the book because I mean really ultimately it's patterns so it's not like it has to be exactly matching um but the color combination is a little a little interesting um so uh yeah I definitely hope to um reprieve myself in the next page um and I really like this pattern um too I didn't like this one as much so I'm not as upset about that one but I really don't want to mess this one up because I like this one a lot so um but yeah it's a really really cute book these books are a ton of fun um yeah you can kind of see a preview of the back of the book um that is Geometrical Joys by Alice Mills Publishing this is a book I got for um from the publisher for review this is Butterfly Color by Number by Pod Only Publishing. Um, I did do a page in here and a pretty detailed flip through of this book. It's a more simple, um, really geared towards kids or large print style um, of coloring. Um, and this book I think is a good, um, a good first launch for them into color by number. Um, there's a couple little errors I found in the book, just maybe where a number was missing, but it was very easy because how symmetrical the um, pictures were to match it up. Um, I liked the consistent color, you know, color palette down at the bottom. This was the page that I showed. It was missing a number here, um, but I could easily tell that that should have been like a one. So this is a really good book for um, kids. It's a really good book for you if you're an adult and want something super, super easy. Um, but yeah, that is Butterfly Color by Number by Pod Only Publishing. Another book I received for review from Kara Shershneva. This is Color by Colors Country Life. Um, really, really great book. Um, a continuation in her Color by Colors series. This one all features, you know, really just very cute um, country scenes. And um, this was the page I previewed for my flip and review. Um, really, really beautiful. Again, on the premium Amazon paper. Um, works really, really great with um, alcohol markers, um, especially if you own Copics or any type of brush style marker. I highly could recommend that for the use of this book. Um, her character, her books with her characters, this is her second one in the Color by Color series that she's released. Her first one that has human characters in it is um, called Women's World and um, they are my favorite out of the entire Color by Color series that she does. Um, hers that feature characters and then her mandala books are um, absolutely a must-have for me. Um, she actually did just release a new mandala book that I'm hoping to get my hands on um, soon. Um, I really like that book as well. These books are a must have for me and I absolutely love them. Color by Colors Country Life by Kira Shershneva. 
Next is the book sent to me by Belva Family. This is Misty's Mystery Mosaics. This um, I've also done a flip and review on. This was a book dedicated to Misty, um, who is Country Gals Coloring Place here on ColorTube. It was her birthday month, and so they decided to feature a book that had two of her favorite things, which are mermaids and unicorns, um, which is just so sweet and so cute. Um, so this book is actually divided into two sections. The first section is the um, unicorn section, so it gives a nice little introduction there and then goes into feature the um the pixels of the book this is a pixel style three by three book it's got small squares with numbers you're corresponding those with the color palette down at the bottom um, when you actually complete the page it will look just like this one here and I decided to go ahead and fill in all of the squares you certainly can do the x method um just putting an x in each square or put in a dot method um if you like that as well but um the images are really really cute cute in this book. They're all a mystery when you're working on them. Sometimes you can see them far away on camera, um, but up close they're very hard to tell. They do preview some images in the back of the book as well, just so you can kind of get an idea for um, what to see inside the book. But really, really lovely book. I love the subject matters of this book. This is going to be definitely by far um, one of my favorite pixel style books um, from Belva Family. So they did a great job on that. And I'm happy to have that in my collection. This is Summer Black Background by Color Questopia. Again, they, they've just been on a kick with just releasing a ton of books. This is really fun. They have one that's called Spring Scenes that they came out with in the spring. This one really follows the summer. Um, and so this really features a lot of images of people doing things in the summertime, eating ice cream, playing in water, um, picnicking, surfing, um, those types of things. Uh, there are a good number of images in here. I want to say there's 25 or 30 images. Um, I think now there's 25, I believe. Uh, ooh, I still have my sticky note. How many images are in here? Uh, Color Quest Ovia, 25 images um, in this book um, are featured, which is they just seem to have kind of increased. All of their books now coming out seem to be 25 or 30 images. They don't seem to be doing the 20 images anymore, which I find really interesting. Um, but this has a lot of really, really great pictures. This was the page that I completed. Um, I did a flip and review on this book as well, um, which was just really cute. Um, just a girl blowing some bubbles. And um, this does feature their 20. 25 color palette on the back. Um, this is a, these, these books, um, Color Questopia is a great, great um, introductory book into color by number. They have about a subject topic for almost anything that you can completely imagine. So um, they do a great job with their books and publishing their books. Um, so this is a cool book as well. Perfect for the summertime. Um, this is Summer Black Background by Color Questopia. All right, next along the line was Cute Dinosaurs, um, Color by Number by Sach and Sach Diva. Um, a more simple style coloring book, um, um, from him. Um, this one is um, has become extremely popular. I've seen a lot of people ordering this book. It features his 21 color palette. Um, it's got the nice soft matte um, inside. There's 25 images in here and um, as you can see just really more simple style um, um, coloring but definitely lends itself to some creativity if you're an adult colorist or maybe you just want something light, breezy, and easy to color for the evening. These are the perfect images um, to uh, to utilize. So um, yeah, really great book. This was the image that I colored out of this book. It's probably one of my absolute favorite color by number images I've ever done. Um, just the caricature of the dinosaur himself is really cute. I just used alcohol marker, crayon, and gel pen in here, and um, I think this turned out stunning. So Sachin, again, and did a really great job at the illustrations in here. They're just fun, whimsical, um, and enjoyable for a colorist of any age. And um, I always highly recommend his books if you are a Color by Number fan. This is Cute Dinosaurs Color by Number by Sachin Sach Diva. And then last but certainly not least is probably one of the more unique additions to my um, coloring book collection. This is Easy Coloring Book by Jade Summer. This one I really, really love. This book um, actually features some larger print um, coloring images, but they are grayscale. 
Um, so I've kind of mentioned in my video when I was flipping and reviewing this book is that in the camera, it's it washes it out a little bit. So it's harder to see some of the grayscale. Um, but in person, you can definitely see it. It's a perfect book for practicing different techniques um, for you know, practicing things like shading or maybe blending or backgrounds. Um, and so that's really what intrigued me about the book, but it also just lends to quick, easy coloring um, that still looks really, really beautiful. Um, I love the detail in the images, especially with things like, you know, this iced tea, um, this glass of iced tea. Um, I mean, there's just a lot that you can do with this book and practice with this book. <clears throat> Again, it's on standard Amazon paper. And what's also nice about this book too, this features 50 images with no repeats. And so usually Jade Summer kind of has repeats in their books um, and they'll have 25 images and then the, the other 25. But um, this one has no repeats, which I thought was just really, really nice. So yeah, so that is some of the pages from the Easy Coloring Book by Jade Summer. All right, that is all that I have for you guys today. Thank you guys for joining me for my haul for July. I will see you guys again in my next video. Bye, everyone.